No, 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 I don't want to give up on us. You got your stuff. No, no, please, please don't go. Sarah, I moved here for you. Don't give up. I love you. Please, no, Sarah. Are you all right? Just get on your bike. Just get on your bike. All right, I am your guide, Vinny. Let's get into it. As we warm up, remember to push through the pain. You might think that you can't, but you gotta. You shouldn't let it stop you, because if you do, then what are you left with? Nothing. All right, let's raise the elevation, shall we? No distractions, folks. This is where we leave our problems at the door. Some of us don't quit when it gets hard, or when her ex comes back into town and then they want to give it another go. All right, elbow taps, everybody. All right, tap, tap, back up, tap, tap, back up. Don't think about the future that was ripped away from you because you thought you already had enough dogs. I mean, five dogs is so many dogs for people that rent. God, I'd take 10 more dogs if a man I'd have her back in my life. Vinny, if you need to- Get on your bike, Wendy! It's our tears. Not sad or crying or anything like that. My eyes are just sweating. Consistency is key. Showing up no matter what. I've been showing up. I mean, I'm here. I've always been here. Even when it was your piano recital on the same weekend as my grandma's funeral. God, Mimo would have loved you, Sarah. Mom would have loved you. I love you, Sarah. <laughs> Honey? Maybe you were right. Uh, another dog couldn't hurt. Right? Oh, how's your Mima? My hair blows up when I'm alone Inside out I might explode When I'm down When I'm down Hey Do you want to try like role play tonight? Yes, yeah Um, I don't know exactly where to start but Oh, don't worry I'll take the lead. I have a couple ideas. Okay, great. Okay, cool. <laughs> How about this? It's 1910, New York. I'm a little orphan girl and you're the shopkeep. Little girl? I'm 19, shut up, it's fine. Yeah. Anyway, I've been stealing some thumbtacks from you for a while now, only this time, oops. I've been caught. And the only way that you won't tell Madame Broomhilda, the head of the orphanage, about my thieving little secret is if I make it up to you in a different way. <laughs> right, but why would you need so many thumbtacks? I feel like you'd have thousands by now. That's not important. How about this? Okay. You're a chef in France, and I'm a rat who dreams of becoming a culinary master. And the two of us form a sexy little alliance together to save the restaurant. This is Ratatouille. Kind of, only this time in all of our cooking, we've developed a taste for one another. Mm, is that cheese yummy? It has so many holes in it. Oops, I dropped the oil. The hot, hot oil is all over me. Punish me, please. I'm a stinky rat. <laughs> I'm not sure the whole rat sex is really doing it for me. Okay. You're a pizza delivery guy. Okay. And you just hit someone with your car. 
Oh, come on. And you learn that the person that you hit is the only witness in a federal murder trial. Cut to interrogation room. I'm the lead investigator. And I find it extremely suspicious that you killed the only person who has any answers in this case. Why'd you do it, Pizza Boy? Huh? Who are you working for? I, uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> You want to know what I think? I think that you turned that man into a pile of bones and flesh because you knew he was going to squeal. Isn't that right, you pepperoni punk? What's it going to take for you to tell me the truth, huh? You want me to knead your dough so good that you forget about the family that the witness left behind and the truth comes bursting out of you, you sick. Okay, baby, um, uh, can we maybe try something a little less intense? <clears throat> okay. Yeah. yeah, I have, uh, just, just the one. Awesome. Finally fulfilled the legacy of my father, Kanguru Nikonga, by annihilating the Pandora Scourge that is taking over our planet, Slimora. The time of the Kangin is upon us! I shall take you, the dethroned leader of the Pandora people, and I shall have you skewered by the spirit eaters, and we shall dance in sexual delight for all of eternity! <laughs> and Cole. Yeah? Um, you scared me a little bit. So if we could maybe just do something a little more basic, Yeah. I'm your stepsister. I'm stuck in the laundry machine, and you have to help me out with your big cock. Yeah, yeah, finally, something normal. Sexual induendo, sexual induendo. Okay? So that's basically it, guys. Not too bad, huh? Let's be professional, keep our hands off of each other. <laughs> Just common sense stuff. All right, we'll probably get out of here. Uh, any questions? Yeah, Brenda. Uh, just a hypo for you. Sure, sure. Um, so what if I trip and nearly fall to the ground in the break room, and the only way to stop from breaking my gorgeous face is by catching myself on Mark's arm? Right. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I think that Mark would understand. And that... what if, after I've caught myself on Mark's supple, lean, strong little arms, we catch eyes for a moment? And what if... That's the moment that changes everything. We look into each other's eyes so deeply and that's the moment that we cut the noise and we break down our walls and we just be. I mean, what if this is the first time in my life I feel, I'll say it, loved? Okay, uh, it's a hyper-specific scenario. Um, Mark, you wanna speak to that? I, I've never thought about that. And you don't have to. Okay. You don't have to. This is what? a safe place. <laughs> no need to be shy. <laughs> but what if Mark uh, and I... Brenda, Mark doesn't like you. Everyone knows that. Uh, I mean, what if... Yes. I said that. Okay, well, hypothetically, that would be inappropriate. Okay, here's another. What if I was leaving this meeting and I tripped and fell and I caught onto Mark's calf and then I realized, wow, He's a runner, like me. And then what if Mark asked me if I want to go running with him sometime? And what if we ran down to the wine bar on 7th that has a great happy hour oyster? The Larcos? Yes. Oh, I heard this one was amazing. Yeah, what if we got an open table reservation uh, uh, on 7th? What, and what if, what, if, what if the Larcos was, was nasty? What? What if you went and it was, and it was nasty and you got food poisoning? So that's not going to happen. But what if it does? And then Mark shows up the next day, sick as a dog, and then he's in the men's room, and what if I walk in, and what if then I trip and I fall? What if as I'm falling, okay. I reach up, I grab Mark, oh, an embrace I've wanted for years. 
Okay, how often are you tripping and falling? Too much. Let's say about enough. Right? Enough is right. Okay, okay. What if I want to trip and fall once? Oh, okay. And as I'm landing... Don't do it. I know where you're going. A shoe comes off. Don't do it. Mark and I start playing footsie. Uh, right. What? Okay. 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 is a real person and he demands our respect as a human being, okay? But what if he saw me as his hero coming to his defense and he invited me to that game night that he has with his ex-wife at their condo on Wednesday nights, who is not right for you, by the way, and I don't know why you guys keep coming back. <laughs> anyway, that's... I mean, it's a complicated relationship. She doesn't deserve you. You can do better. And what if I said yes to that game night and we let the night do what the night does. And we ended up in the pool and we and we just we just frolicked. What would you say to that, Mark? I'd probably report it. Marco. Marco. Say it. Hola? I would report it. Okay. But you don't have to report it. Oh. You and I, if it's special. Doesn't need to be reported, FYI. But you guys definitely need to report it. We put it on the DL. Guys, come quick. Sheila fell. And Mark, your strong, lean arms weren't there to catch her. She's hurt. She's really hurt. Mark, come on, Mark. I'm coming. Mark, come on. Mark. 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 We told you this hey. We told you. Hey. We told you. Hey. Mark, come back. Oh, hey guys, I didn't see you there. Today, we are gonna to be touring this incredible property that is currently listed at $2.4 million. I'm super excited to get inside and show you guys this house. It's the best list we've had today. Right, Mikey? Oh, easily the nicest one we've got on a tour. Calm down, Mikey. We wanted to start today in this gorgeous backyard with multiple seating areas surrounding this pool. It's a saltwater pool and I've been told that it is heated up and ready to go for whoever wants to buy this stunning. Now we are in this beautifully spacious foyer that every detail has been thought of. Um, down to this stone floor uh, that was directly imported from Turkey for $50,000. Let's go Mikey. Now to show you guys this incredible kitchen. As you notice, the windows open wide, so you can feel every single gust of wind. Now onto the appliances, we have this incredible state-of-the-art stove, um, which is fucking on! Oh my god! Uh, now onto the guest bedroom. Um, as you can see, high ceilings, its own bathroom, and uh, easy access to outlets. Um, <laughs> Sorry, my phone. Um, now on to my favorite part of the house, uh, the balcony. <laughs> Come on, Mikey. Ooh, what a spectacular view. <laughs> now, this is the most private part of the house. Um, it's a little lone lounging area that no one will know you're in unless you want them to. Um, I, I think it's locked. You think it's locked, Mikey? Hmm? You think it's locked? Well, I guess, I guess we have a really secure home. <laughs> I guess I'll just call the property manager now. And, um... Mikey, did you bring your phone? No, I'd leave my phone in the car during these tours. Why would you do that, Mikey? Why the f so, fortunately, the property manager was able to get us out of the locked balcony. Um, unfortunately, it's now 1 a.m. and we can't show you guys the rest of the Why lifting. the fuck is everything wet? Mikey, let's get the fuck out of here, man. Huh? Steven? Steven, where the fuck are you going? 
It was a night unlike the others, searching for answers, finding more questions. When suddenly, something landed on my desk I couldn't ignore. A new development in a case that I thought had gone cold. The situation began three weeks ago, and before I knew it, it was moving like a bullet train to Tokyo. Of all the people you may know, pages she could have been on, she had to appear on mine. She was gorgeous, a genuine article. Miami 8, LA 7, and that's a proper Chicago dime for those keeping score at home. Off the rip, I dropped some hints, like three bikini photographs, and sent the follow. Lo and behold, she got back to me right away. So what went wrong? The follow back was secured and the approach was immaculate. I played it cool. Cool as a kid hitting the gritty at a school assembly. Then, a miracle. She hot reacted my fire reaction. It was on like Donkey Kong. I came in hard and fast like a prom date at the after party. What up? Not much. Do we know each other? She was slicker than an otter in an oil spill. No, I said, giving it right back. We went back and forth like an AI tennis match. All hits, no misses. Then it happened. She went dark. And now, a clue as to why. A new story post. And his hands were in there like Jim Henson and Kermit. Had I misread? Been double-crossed? Look at all the angles. Is this a soft launch, or her brother in town from Nantucket? There was only one way to find out. The two words every broad wants to hear. You up. I closed the file and opened another case to occupy my mind. Now this one was a real doozy. We'd already had some live encounters, and I didn't exactly bring my A-game. But who doesn't love an underdog? I sent her a meme. She ha ha reacted. The world was my oyster, and she was going to be wearing my pearl if you catch my drift. If you don't catch my drift, I'm talking about jizz. I needed this one. Truth be told, I've been on the beat for too long. Something straight to the point. We're losing moonlight. The dot 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 is a trail of breadcrumbs. Sometimes it leads to a house made of candy ran by a sexy witch that wants to eat your butt. But sometimes it leads nowhere at all. I prefer the former, but beggars can't be choosers. I could try one more Hail Mary. But we all know that case went cold a long time ago. Night wasn't my best, but it wasn't my worst. Well, that's a story for a different day. For now, I'm back on the... Hey man, we gotta... What the hell did you do to your bedroom? Are those hinge profiles on the wall? You're done. You gotta pack up and move out. You're creeping everyone out, and you owe me way too much rent. And that hat makes you look like an idiot. Can't win them all. Forget it, kid. That's Instagram. If you missed it back there, I was talking about jizz. I shut my eyes in my